A special honor for a Covington police officer and his canine partner. The two were involved in a shootout last week. Well, tonight, City Council recognized their bravery. Local 12's Curtis Jackson was there. A hero's welcome is what you'd expect for an officer who has shown exceptional bravery, whether on two legs or four. What specialist Mike Lusardi and his partner Ernie did for this moment was nothing less than courage under fire. Had he not been there, had he not done his job, what do you think could have happened? Uh, definitely, you probably wouldn't be talking to me today. Ernie, Lusardi, and other Covington officers were chasing an armed suspect last week. Ernie was the first to take down the gunman. As he went up to the, the uh, bad guy is what we call him, he uh, was able to bite him, and then that's when he was able, you know, he got shot upon from the bad guy, and then he and the bad guy returned fire took towards me. So he gave me that two seconds, Ernie gave me that two sec seconds to find cover, so, and return fire. That two seconds could have changed the future of Lusardi's young family. I'm very lucky to be here and I was able to go home that night and see my family. A bullet went through Ernie's front paw and into the rear right one, where it remains. Even so, he is on the mend and is expected to return to duty later this week. Well-wishers have sent cards and treats from as far away as Oregon, but his biggest fan is his partner. The bond between them even tighter than before. A lot of times he gets yelled at because I think the dog comes before the rest of the family, but they are very close and I know that he's safer on the street having the dog there with him every day. Ernie has been in training this week and one of the things that police are testing for is how he responds to gunfire. The shooting has had no effect on how Ernie does his job. They say he remains as tough as he was before. And Cammie, he is eager to get back to oh, work. What a good boy. You know, my inclination, maybe other people feel this way, is to go, oh, he's so <laughs> sweet, he's so cute. But it's important to remember, this is a work dog. This is a police dog, and I guess we need to respect he's that. He's a very authoritative dog right. and clearly does very well at his job. If yeah. you get the opportunity to hear him bark, you can tell that. So. Yeah, and he had the muzzle on just... Just so he would stay safe. quiet during the meeting. Sure. So, but as soon as he got out of the meeting, they took it off, and he said hi to me. Oh. Quite <laughs> loudly. I bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> Great story. Thank you, Curtis. Thanks, Tim, John.